I wanted to comment on two real estate videos created by Lewis Rossman earlier this year. In those videos, Lewis takes the position that retail rents in New York City have not dropped and that they are in some cases higher than they were before the pandemic. Now, one of my viewers mentioned this to me last week. His comment on the channel was the following. Lewis Rossman says that there are more concessions from landlords, but the rent did not drop or drop down considerably. How true is this? It's a great question, and I'd like to take the opportunity to answer it. First of all, Lewis in his videos refers to pricing on various LoopNet listings. As you may or may not know, LoopNet is owned by a publicly listed company by the name of the CoStar Group. The database that they have is extremely high quality, about as much as any database like that can be. It is certainly a better source of information than Craigslist or any other online property database. Now, during his video, Lewis highlights listings, discusses specific properties, and shows how the asking rents are actually higher than they were before the pandemic. Now, some of the listings were really outrageously expensive, and I can see how Lewis and his subscribers would find this to be absurd, considering the sky-high vacancy rate and current economic conditions in New York City and the fact that there's no foot traffic to, to speak of. That being said, the approach that Lewis is taking in evaluating the market, in my opinion, is questionable. And let me explain why. The pandemic was very sudden and there was no time for pricing to adjust. Now, there was a lockdown and there was very little activity. And even when the lockdown ended, there were very few transactions occurring. So there really isn't a market. There's no market signals, no comparables, no records of any transactions, which would make it possible for landlords to determine what the pricing should be. So their tendency is to just continue to list their spaces at the previous asking rents in fe of February 2020. But if you're looking for a space, you should just disregard this. The landlords are whistling Dixie. What they're asking for is, isn't relevant. You're going to be able to negotiate it. Now, these, these rents, they're there's no indication of where you can make a deal. Don't take what's on LoopNet is, is something very serious. Um, it's kind of immaterial in its way. Now, furthermore, concessions like free rent can have major impact on the economics of a deal. For example, if you were to sign a two-year lease term and the landlord gave you two years of free rent and you paid 80 bucks a square foot, that would reduce the net effect of rent to $40 a square foot. Now, you'd never get two years of free rent on a two-year lease, but you get the idea that free rent really does have an impact on what your uh, net effective rent would be. Also, these concessions have real value and Lewis has a tendency not to take them into account in his video. Now, you got to understand something from a landlord's perspective. The value of their building is their rent roll. When they go to the bank to get a mortgage, they show the bank their leases and what the rent roll is. So it's a lot easier for a landlord to give a prospective tenant free rent than it is to reduce their rent or even to build out their space. So you got to take that into account and be sure to take free rent into account when you calculate what your net effective rent is going to be. Now, there's no question that landlords are offering very generous concession packages now to lease their empty spaces and really much more than they would have a year ago. And I mean, this just doesn't apply to New York City. It's going to apply in any city in the United States or anywhere in the world. So now may be a good time to actually look for space. Now, you know, it's true that maybe 99% of the landlords are going to be intransigent, very resistant to reducing their rents, making concessions. But if you're in the market for a space, you just need to find one space. So, I mean, it's a little bit of work. You may have to put in multiple offers. That being said, if you're a business owner looking for space, you just need one landlord who's willing to uh, play ball with you. I wanted to make this video because I was concerned that Lewis's video might discourage some business owner somewhere who's looking for a space. And the fact is that now's a good time. And no matter what landlords can say, there's a lot more negotiability than there's been for many, many years. And I mean, you're not buying uh, pork bellies. This isn't speculation. You don't have to catch the, uh, the market right at the bottom. Um, things will recover. I mean, what's important is finding a good functional space, negotiating the best terms you have, and ensuring that your uh, business can make money um, in your space. If you found this content interesting or helpful, I'd be happy if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can always find me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Metro Manhattan. Until the next time.